Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy, that boy Alice here, and welcome back to another video on this channel. Today, we're going to be talking about some wrestling news on this channel. Today, we're going to be talking about SmackDown going to three hours starting in January 2025. We're going to be talking about the Lucha Brothers agreeing to sign with WWE and enter the main roster and some more WWE contract news. So, without further ado, uh, let's get straight to it. So, um, WWE. WWE is... Going to SmackDown, they're adding a third hour. I am going to give you guys my thoughts on it and my opinion on it. So the report from Russell Votes came out saying that WWE SmackDown added a third hour in January 2025. Um, it looks like WWE SmackDown will begin a third hour in the, in the near future. WWE SmackDown has been a two-hour show since its, since its inception in 1999. That list to change according to a new report from Russell Votes on Russell Votes Radio. The outlet is reporting that SmackDown will gain an additional hour on the USA Network after Raw moves over to Netflix in January 2025. The three-hour SmackDown format will begin with the January 3rd, 2025 episode of SmackDown. WWE has not announced changes to the show's format. However, it is confirmed that WWE Raw will return to a two-hour format um, briefly. WWE Raw will air for two hours starting on October 7th. This will be in effect until the show starts on Netflix. In January, will when it will revert back to a three-hour show. So it's only for temporarily, just for just from October till the end of the year. Monday Night Raw is going back to two hours, which I'm so excited about. <laughs> so yeah, um, changes to SmackDown have already started. As the show received a new logo for last week's premiere episode on USA Network, SmackDown also got a new theme song. Uh, Mega the Stallion never played featuring Ariana of BTS is the new theme song for the show. Um, a handful of legends were also in attendance to celebrate the show's USA Network premiere with Figure Guerrero, Rob Van Dam, were showing the crowd, others such as Warrior Boy Champion Gunther and Louis Kaiser, William Regal, and Bobby Roode were spotted on screen. Um, so my thoughts on SmackDown adding a third hour. Uh, you know, I feel the same way about Monday Night Raw being three hours. And I'm going to feel the same way about SmackDown being three hours. I, I just don't want to, I just don't want a three hour show. A three hour SmackDown and then SmackDown has not been good lately. You know, outside of this whole, you know, outside of Roman and Cody and, you know, the, the bloodline and LA Knight. It seems like they have lesser talent on SmackDown. And I'm thinking to myself, you know, how is the third hour going to work if you have... Because I feel like SmackDown has lesser talent than Raw. Um, but I'm thinking to myself, how is gonna, how, how is three hours of SmackDown going to work? Because if you like me, well, you don't like three hours of Raw. And you couldn't stand seeing through a three-hour show. But now, you know, the show, Monday Night Raw is good. And they're producing, you know... Monday Night Raw is producing their best television they have in in a, in a decade. And SmackDown, on the other hand, is getting uh, the short end of the stick. You know, like I said, SmackDown has, in my opinion, SmackDown is the worst WWE televised show of the week. You got Raw, NXT, and I will put SmackDown last in that category of ranking the, the weekly televised shows. They're going to have to do a whole lot of convincing for me to change my mind on the third hour. But me personally, I'm not a big fan of this uh, three-hour SmackDown. I'm really not. That's just me personally. Unless, uh, unless you, unless you got the talent and unless you have the storylines, then fine. But nowadays, you're starting to see these wrestling shows just move three hours. You know, Raw went to three hours uh, 12 years ago. And now we're going to get a third hour of SmackDown starting in January. And I am not mentally prepared for this. So, I'm going to be live for, for three hours. Um, starting on Fridays in January. But, yeah, I, I just have to see what happens, you know. I just feel like SmackDown has the lesser talent. And I just don't feel like they have the time to get through a three-hour show. Unless you unless you're gonna dedicate an hour to a whole bloodline segment. 
Cause you know I can see I can see WWE just doing this, dedicating just one hour to the bloodline and the stories that they're trying to tell. You ever you ever thought of that? So yeah. I, I just I, I just think um it won't work for, for me. I'm gonna have to get I'm I'm gonna have to get used to it. I really am. I am mentally prepared for a three hour SmackDown. And you, you know, segments get dragged out that you don't want to see on television. Um I, I don't I don't know how the hell you're gonna write a three hour SmackDown. I know I couldn't write a three hour SmackDown. Not a damn show can't write a three hour minute night raw. So man, a lot of things are changing in WWE, man. Coming in, you know, starting in October, you know, we're going back to Monday Night Raw is going back to two hours. NSC is going to CW. Um, you know, all this, you know, you know, WWE is hotter now than it's, than it's ever been, you know, and it's in, in, in a decade. You know, they're making all this money. So why not add a third hour? You know, maybe USA Network wanted, wanted, wanted Smatter to be three hours. Okay. So you, so, so Monday Night Raw is going to Netflix. Okay, so we need SmackDown to be a, to be, to be a three hour show, and NST is not going to be on the USA Network um, starting in October, October first. Next, next next week is the last. Uh, uh, this coming Tuesday is the last NST on the USA Network before they go off to CW, and I can't wait to come out streaming to come out of streaming NST. I will let you guys know. But yeah, man, three hour SmackDown, I am just not, I'm not mentally prepared for it because a lot of shit gets dragged out and then shit gets stale at times. Yeah, I'm not ready for that. So let me know what you guys think. Um, I have my opinion on it. I'm not ready for a three hour SmackDown. Me personally, I'm just not a big fan of it. Now, if the show, now, if, now, if, now, if SmackDown is good consistently, my mind can change. So we'll have to see what happens. Uh, the Lucha Pros are set to join WWE after leaving AEW. Uh, Pentagon Jr. and Ray Phoenix, the Lucha Brothers, have signed multi-year WWE contracts as first reported by Corey Hayes. They're expected to join the main roster soon. Penta and Phoenix are AEW originals, haven't been with the company since its ascension in 2019. Over the years, they participated in some of the greatest matches in AEW history, both as a tag team and in singles competition. Together, they held the AEW World Tag Team Championships, the AEW World Trio Championships, along with Pac as their triangle and Phoenix held the AEW International Championship. Recent reports suggest that, that Pentagon and Phoenix AEW contracts were near expiration. The, wrestle, the wrestlers sub, uh, subsequently filed application to trademark the, re, the renames, a sign there were exploring opportunities beyond a, AEW. The, this latest departure from, from all elite wrestling will probably, will undoubtedly shake up the tag division and create a slew of fresh matchups. The jump is a significant shift in their careers as WWE's global reach will bring their talents to the industry's largest platform. Um, yeah, man. I don't blame the Lucha Bros for leaving WWE. The tag team division. Now that you got the Lucha Bros, the, the Lucha Bros going to the main roster, you got the Motor City Machine Guns coming in. I can't wait to see the Lucha Bros in WWE. You know they are my favorite tag team in the business. And they have been um, from the jump. You know, ever since I first, you know, caught my eye on the Lucha Brothers, you know, they've been my favorite tag team from the jump in the business. They had some great matches. You guys remember the matches they had with the Young Bucks. Um, it's sad we never got that Lucha Brothers match with Santana and Ortiz in AEW because I, oh, that's going to be a what if for me. So, yeah, man, that's really one of the biggest big money matches they, they really dropped the ball on right here. So, yeah, but the Lucha Brothers in WWE, um, they're going to kill it. They're going to kill it on the main roster. And those guys are just going to, they're, they're going to, th they're going to throw it on the tag team division if they stay healthy, which has been a problem for especially Ray Phoenix. He's, he has to be able to stay healthy. And I really hope he stays healthy because if Ray Phoenix stays healthy and Pentagon stays healthy, I promise you they're a scary tag team if they're healthy. 
So I can't wait to see him, man, tear it down. You know, DI Lucha Brothers versus DIY. Lucha Brothers versus uh, who else? The Street Profits. And they can and they can honestly wake up. They can bring spark to that tag team division. They can be the franchise players of this tag team division. You know, when the, when the division goes cold, that means you don't have that franchise guy. You don't have that franchise player. And the Lucha Brothers, they can be those franchise players of the tag team division. You know, like that one NFL team that's in quarterback prerogatory. You need that one quarterback to, to shake up this franchise. You need that one quarterback. You need that one point guard to shake up to shake up the whole basketball team. To change this franchise. You need that one you need that franchise guy. That's the heart and soul of your team. And I believe the Lucha Bros can be that to the main roster tag team division. I believe the owners machine guns will, will, will bring that to the NXT tag team division. I can't wait. Lucha Brothers versus any tag team you put them in that ring with will be straight up clicking. I'm telling you. And I hope Triple H uses them right, and I think he will. The Lucha Bros are big money. They're one of the best tag teams in the world. One of the best tag teams in the business. The Lucha Brothers are going to cook. They're going to make you money. You can make money off of the Lucha Brothers. I promise you, bro. And they already got merch coming in. And all. They already got merch made and all that stuff. So they're bound to debut immediately. We can see them at Bad Blood, for all we know. We can see the Lucha Brothers at Bad Blood. I don't know what in what capacity, but you can see him at Bad Blood. I'm predicting the Lucha Bros will be at Bad Blood. And if the Lucha Bros will be is at Bad Blood, that, that makes my whole day. It really do. That would make my whole night. I'm going to Bad Blood. I can't wait for Bad Blood. Uh, two weeks from Saturday, uh, I'm going to be logging in for you guys. So, uh, yeah, man. I can't wait for the Lucha Brothers. I'm very happy for them. They're one of my favorite tag teams. And WWE is not done yet adding more talent. They're not done yet. So we'll see what happens. Uh, last but not least, WWE is um, Kevin Owens. Uh, WWE Kevin Owens. Um, specifically, WWE Source tells Fightful that uh, Kevin Owens has been approached for a new contract. So Kevin Owens has been approached for a new contract. We're told that Owens has not signed a new deal as of yet, but communication has been made. Those that we spoke to in AEW said that the company has, has long had major interest in, being, in bringing Owens in. And if he's available, they're expected to make him an offer if he reaches for free agency. Uh, w has already re-signed Sheamus, Drew McIntyre, Seth Rollins, Natalia, Humberto, uh, uh, Humberto Carrillo, uh, Andrew Garza, Cedric Alexander, Nikki Cross, and numerous other talent in 2024. Uh, I don't see... I don't see him leaving. I really don't. I mean, unless he desperately wants to... Well, he, you know he's tired with the Young Bucks. And Adam Cole's down there. So there could still be a Mount Rushmore reunion down there. I, I just don't... I, I think he stays. I don't think he goes to AEW. I'm, and plus, what purpose... Their, their, their shows are not good right now. What purpose does it serve Kevin Owens going to, w, going to AEW as Kevin Steen? You get what I'm saying? Like, you know, what is really, I mean, Kevin Steen going to AEW, I just don't. Not, not saying I'm not going to be happy for him if he goes to AEW, but I just don't think, I think he would get lost in the sauce. I think he will only, I think he will only go down there and people are only going to care about him if he goes to reunite, you know, with the Young Bucks and Adam Cole, you know, Mount Rushmore. I feel like that's the only thing people would care about for, for real if he goes down there. Um, and I know you're probably thinking, yo, Alex, what, what the fuck is Mount Rushmore? Um, it was a faction with Kevin, Kevin Steen, um, the Young Bucks, and Adam Cole, I believe Roderick Strong was in that group. If I'm not mistaken, no, let me, no, bro, let me look at my, let me look at my history. Um, yeah, it was, 
Okay, so it, Roger Sean was in the group as well. And then some wrestler named Super Dragon that I don't know about. So yeah, I feel like that's the only reason y'all would want to see uh, Kevin Owens in AEW. It's, it's the re and with Mount Rushmore. And plus, what is there for Kevin Owens to do? I mean, I just feel like he would be lost in the sauce. I just can't see him going to AEW. Um, I think he should stay. I think he's content with where he's at in the company. But, you know, if he, want, if he wants to leave and go to they go to AEW, I'll support him. It's just I hope they have plans for him. But the, and this, that's another problem Problem here. You bring all these big names and you don't have no plans for them. Like, what are we doing with Jamie Hayter? Why is she not going after Mariah May? You know, why is she not, why why they're not telling, why they're not telling the story of her getting back her AW Women's World title back? That should be the story. Um, and I'll, and Mariah May, Sada Rain, you know, what are we doing? Now, Mina, Mina Shirakawa is coming back to AW Television. And you know, people saying, oh, they should do Mariah and Mina at Russell Dream. But I, I think that's too soon. I think you should really tell a big story with Mariah and Mina. I really do. And Tony Storm's still in the midst because that story's not done. But Jamie Hader, what are we doing with her? What are we, Mercedes Money hasn't been seen on TV since all out. She's been missing for two weeks. What are we doing with, with Mercedes Monet? Uh, what are we doing with a, with a Ricochet? You only brought Ricochet in just to have that match with Will, with Will Ospreay and that's it. What, where is Ricochet going to go after this? That's my question. What are you doing with your tag team division? Who is... I, I, what are you doing with these guys? You're bringing all these big names in the company. You have nothing planned for them. And, that, and that's what pisses me off. Where is Britt Baker? I know a lot of you... I know a lot of you might not like Britt Baker because of, you know, what she... Because of her ego and stuff. But where is Britt Baker? Then the woman just come back. She explained to us why she's been gone for a year. She got hurt and then she got sick. Then she comes back at all in, has a match with Mercedes, and now she's gone from TV again? Did Brick get hurt again? If so, you need to come out and tell us. Did Brick get injured again? Did Brick get sick again? I hope she's okay. I really do. Uh, Thunder Rose is out, with a, is out with a concussion. She's recovering from that. She mentioned on one of her vlogs, I believe. Um, what are you doing with... What are you doing with Dan Garcia? He just... The motherfucker just damn near killed MJF. What are we doing with him? Stop bringing all these big names in and you don't have nothing planned for them. Stop doing that. And then you're adding a third, you're adding another show called AW Shockwave. First of all, nobody check, first of all, you need to get rid of Rampage. Nobody's checking for pro wrestling at 10 o'clock on a Friday night. I'm sorry, but nobody's doing that. And then you try to put a, put a show called Shockwave on there. Are you going to book, are you going to book Shockwave like a dynamite or no? Collision needs to be booked like a dynamite. It's not even being booked like a dynamite. Collision is just another Rampage. And it's a waste of a time slot on a Saturday night from 7 o'clock to 9 o'clock p.m. So, whatever Kevin Owens does, I'll support him. But anyway, guys, I'm getting out of here. Um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, subscribe. And I will see you guys tomorrow for SmackDown. Love y'all. Take care. And I'm out.